video of um, Deontay Wilder doing a bench press, isn't it? I think he's, I think, um, what was he doing? He's doing about 350 pounds, isn't he, yeah? And, um, see the problem, see, see the reason why I'm making this video, this critique, is because I genuinely, I genuinely, like, I genuinely rate this man, I genuinely salute everything what he does in and out of the ring, bro, you know what I mean? He rep represents our culture, you know what I mean? Um, there, there's no one else like him on this, um, on this stage, really. There's no one else high profile like him doing what he's doing, you know what I mean? So, I got, I got, I got, I got a love for a man, you know, you know what I'm saying? I got a love for him, I don't even know him personally, but what he does, I've got love for him, man, so I don't want to see him get hurt, you get me? Now, coming from coming from a training background myself, you know I mean, I've, I've been around world class, European class, weight um, weightlifters, yeah, powerlifters, I've been around them, you get me? So I know the form, I know the technique, um, and, you know, when I, when I see him doing that, Honestly, it just makes me, oh man. I don't know if it makes, I don't know if cringe is the word, it makes me cringe, I'm not too sure if that's the right word, but it may, I don't know, man, it just don't sit right with me, man. Like, I just feel like something's gonna go wrong, man, because the form isn't there. Um, and I, you know, I just think for someone who, you know, I'm trying to think how to put it. Um, like I don't know who I don't know who I don't know who's teaching him the bench press. I don't know who's do I don't know who's taught him the bench press. I don't know if he's just been doing it himself and he's got people there to I don't know spot him. Yeah, even you know there's better ways to spot as well, but forget about that. Um, at the minute, but I'm just talking about his form in general. Like when you're doing the bench press, you feel gotta be your feet and your butt have gotta be planted on the seat yeah you can't be lifting your butt up off the seat bro you can't be doing that like you gotta you know you gotta you gotta you gotta retract the scalpula yeah you gotta retract the scalpula that's gotta be tight everything's gotta be tight when you're doing the bench press especially when you're doing more or less max is what you're doing he's doing like that. i think 350 was his max Especially when you're doing a real heavy weight like that, you know. Everything's gotta be tight. You know, you can probably get away with being a bit a little bit loose if you're if you're doing a bit of a, doing a fucking warm-up, which is probably about I don't know, probably probably about fucking 50% of what you normally do, you know, whatever, you probably get away with that, but as soon as you start up with the weight, man, you gotta everything's gotta be tight, but you know, good habits gotta start from the you gotta be tight from the start. Whether there's no weight on the bar or not, you gotta be tight. That's just the way I've. That's just the way I've been sitting. Good habits, you know. Um, I know. I like. You know. I think. You know. When he, when he, when he came down with the weight and he, and he, and he pushed Weber up, he was, you know, his shoulders rolled forward. Like your chest has got to be. You know, everything. You, you got to be tight. You got to be back. Yeah. It's hard to show what I'm doing while I'm in the car, but when he pushed up, it's almost like. He, Relax the shoulders and just you know relax the shoulders and push up like that. When really you should be your back, you know your back should be contract. Well, yeah, your chest should be out. Your back should be contracted, and you'll be pushing the weight up like that, like that instead of like that. You get what I'm saying? Again, it's hard to show, but what, what people know you know if you know what I'm people know if people know how to bench press. You know what I'm talking about, and you know you know stuff like that when you know. It's gonna be, it can be a recipe for disaster, you know? And I just don't wanna see it, man. Like, honestly, I don't. Because you fuck around and, and all it takes is one little, like, twinge. If you just move a certain way, yeah? You can probably get away with it sometimes, but that, but there's gonna be a time when you're not gonna get away with it, where you might just shift a little bit, yeah? And like I said, you, you, you might just shift a little bit, your form's not, like everything's not tight anyway, and when you shift a little bit, that you know, before you know, you've you've, you've injured your shoulder. You, you, you know, you, 
you might, you might, you might, you know, you, 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 you rotate a cuff is one of the, it's probably the most valid, you know, invaluable muscles in your, sh if you fuck up your rotator cuff muscle, right, I've had a rotator cuff strain before, trust me, you're out of the game for a long time, yeah, I, I, um, I, I strained my rotator cuff many years ago when I first started training, and I could bear, I couldn't even lift my arm there, I couldn't even do that, yeah, um, and this was like literally within a few months for me to start weights, you know, I thought my, my, my lifting days was over as soon as I started, you know, but obviously I learned from that, and like, like I said, I, I was fortunate to um, be around um, uh, world class, European level class champs, yeah, but, uh, powerlifting, powerlifters, yeah, I was fortunate to be around that so I could see the correct form. I mean, correct form on, on your bench, on your squat, on your deadlift, you know what I mean? All the all them key movements, yeah? On the shoulder press, all that stuff, right? And um, I just think, like, I don't, um, if he's got a coach, and his coach ain't showing him the right technique, like just the basic technique, then it's just unfortunate. Because at that level, at that level, everything's high you know when the stakes are so high right you should be having world-class um, you should be you should, you should having the world-class coach a world-class powerlifting coach that's what you should be having on your side that's what you need and obviously money and money and money is not an issue for Wilder clearly obviously not and I just feel that's what he needs that you know if he wants to do strength and conditioning he needs a world you know well, strength work in general, if you want to do strength work, he needs a world class powerlifting coach next to him because that will just save his joints, that will just save any kind of potential injury risk. That will just, that will just like more just cut that out straight away, you know what I mean? And that's what I want. Like, I don't, I don't want to see him injured, bro. I'm not, you know, I'm not, who, you know, people might think, well, who am I to say anything about, um, you know, who, like, who am I to say anything? Well, you, know, you could say that, but you know, but when you know the fundamentals of bench press, when you when you've had injuries before, when you've seen people being injured before, you know, you know, you know, you, you don't want to see. And for Wilder, for, for everything that he's been through as well, being fucked around and shit like that, yeah. The last thing I want for him now, and he's he's getting close to the fight, bro. He's getting close to the he's getting close to the rematch, whether the rematch takes place or not. Who knows? Obviously, it's on October the 9th, but it's getting close, right? And I don't want to—I don't want to see him go in there with any, you know, bad, in, you know, with, 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 with a fucked up shoulder, or he, or he has to pull out because he's he's he's, he's tore rotator cuff muscle, or or his elbow, or you know, just stuff. Like, I, I don't want to see it, man. Like, honest to God, I don't—I don't, I don't want to see it. Like, like, like you know, I got, got a lot of respect for this man. So I just don't want to see, man. I don't want to see, um, you know. I just don't want to see. So I look at that, and I just, I almost don't want to look at the video. I just don't want to look at it, man, because I just think, no, 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 no. Don't want to see. Don't want to see. Just don't. Hopefully, you know, <laughs> he doesn't get injured. Because sometimes, you know what? There's you no know, I I've known people I've known people who who have who've had bad form who don't do the best of form and they they've got they've got away with it you know they've got away with it they you know, I've not seen them being injured before or anything like that they've kind of got away with it some people are lucky enough to get away with it right you know that's just probably down to good genetics good tendon strength and stuff like that but again but there's only so long you can probably get away with that for you know before something does give out if if your form doesn't improve so hopefully that isn't anytime soon and he gets through and he gets to the re he gets to the rematch healthy and any other endeavors after that is healthy that's what I want that's what I want to see but yeah um, I think that's about it anyway I don't need to ramble on anymore um, and with that I'm 
yeah I forget I forgot to mention this while I made the, the first video but it's pretty important for like um listen also with um Deontay Wilder's got long arms right I've got long arms and guess what the bench press for anybody who's got long arms the bench press is not going to be your best lift okay but obviously Wilder's such a freak of nature and he's doing that he's natural and he's doing such a heavy weight don't get don't wrong the form isn't there the form isn't there but if listen if if his form was there if he let me put it this way if his form was there right he'll be you'll be able to lift more than fucking 350 <laughs> that's the funny thing if his form was there you have to do you be able to lift more but anyway yeah, one, if, if you've got long arms, which I have as well, I've got long limbs, yeah? The bench press is not gonna be your strongest um, lift, yeah? And it's not something that I max out on myself. I don't max out on bench press because it's, again, when you've got long arms, you know, it isn't the best of things to be to be going full range of motion on. And don't get me wrong, I do go full range of motion on bench press. Um, but, but I don't keep my arm. My arms are not that wide. I keep it shoulder for part. So again, this is what I mean. Like, so you got to be careful, man. You got to be careful if you got long arms and stuff like that. It's got to be careful. Don't. It's not when you got long arms. You got. You got to basically come to the come to the realization that you're not going to be as strong as people who've got normal length arms compared to their torso or shorter arms. It's that simple. Yeah. And like I said, I don't, I don't want to, I want, I want the best for my man. I want the best for my man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm making this video. It's not about hate. It's nothing to do with hate. It's okay, we can do with that at all. You know, people think like you can't. You know, people think like if you critique somebody, if you critique somebody, it's hate. It's fucking hate at all. Yeah. Some people genuinely, genuinely want to look out for other people, and that's what I'm doing here. 